Hello there. Have you ever been asked about Joel's triangle, Kalat's triangle, etc? Do you always get confused like which is what? Then you have come to the right place. So let's get started. We have two lumbar triangles in our body. Firstly, inferior triangle of Betty. Inferiorly bounded by iliac crest, medially by latissimus dorsi and laterally by external oblique. Next lumbar triangle is superior triangle of Grinfeld. Laterally bounded by internal oblique. Medially by paraspinal muscle and superiorly by lower border of twelfth rib. Coming on to neck. Inferior boundary of scalene triangle is by first rib. Posterior by scalenus medius and anterior by scalenus anterior. The special part of it is brachial plexus and subclavian vessels are compressed here causing thoracic outlet syndrome. To avoid recurrent laryngeal nerve injury during neck surgeries, various methods of RLN identification have been identified. One of which is Bear's triangle, where Notation 1 is common carotid artery, 2 inferior thyroid artery and 3 is recurrent laryngeal nerve seen after retracting thyroid lobe medially and strap muscles laterally. Have you heard of Simon's triangle? No, not Simon's law my dear. It's bounded laterally by common carotid artery, medially by esophagus and superiorly by inferior thyroid artery. It's another site where you'll locate recurrent laryngeal nerve. And for external branch of superior laryngeal nerve we have Joel's triangle laterally bounded by upper pole of thyroid and superior thyroid vessels superiorly by strap muscles and deep investing layer of fascia to hyoid medially with midline and floor is by cricothyroid muscle now let's enter abdomen with calitz triangle bounded superiorly by cystic artery laterally by cystic duct amp medially by common hepatic duct but now it's been replaced by hepatocystic triangle superior boundary is by inferior surface of liver then laterally by cystic duct and medially by the common hepatic duct next is pass through triangle formed by joining three points that is pancreatic head and neck junction, D3 and D4 junction, and cystic duct and CBD junction. It's the major site of occurrence of gastronomas. Have you examined any appendicitis patient? Before he got operated? Yes. I'm talking about Sharon's triangle. Joinosis to umbilicus, umbilicus to pubic symphysis and finally, Osses to pubic symphysis. That is Sharon's triangle. It is the site of hyperesthesia in acute appendicitis. It's been a long day. Let's jog a little. Now, what's triangle of auscultation? It's the only part of without muscles. Bounded inferiorly by upper border of latissimus dorsi, supramedially by trapezius, laterally medial border of scapula, so respiratory sounds are heard better here. What is femoral triangle? It's bounded laterally by medial border of sartorius, superiorly by inguinal ligament, and medially by medial border of adductor longus. Femoral artery pulsations are felt here. From top, it's covered by skin, superficial fascia with fatty and membranous layer and deep fascia with saphenous opening. From medial to lateral lies, adductor longus, pectineus, psoas major and ilia, and use mnemonic navel for contents, that is femoral nerve and vessels empty space and lymphatics. In oldies, what's the site of inguinal hernia? It's called Hasselbach's triangle, which is site for direct hernia. 
laterally bounded by epigastric artery, inferiorly by inguinal ligament, and medially by lateral border of rectus abdominis, where it's attached to iliac crest. What do you think about triangle of doom and triangle of pain? Are they both same? Triangle of doom is bounded medially by vas deferens, laterally by gonadal vessels and apex oriented at internal ring. While triangle of pain has supramedial border by gonadal vessels, inferolateral border by iliopubic tract, and lateral border by reflected peritoneum. It's a misnomer coined by surgeons and has lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, anterior femoral cutaneous nerve, femoral branch of genital femoral nerve and femoral nerve, from lateral to medial. Yeah, all clear. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated about upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you super soon.